Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. Today, let us talk about the Papikonda National Park as 51 species of herpetofauna have been discovered there recently. So this national park, which is in Andhra Pradesh, saw the discovery of 51 species of herpetofauna. Now, what do we mean by herpetofauna? Herpetofauna is simply a term that is used to describe a collective group of amphibians and reptiles. So this is in close relation with the term herpetology which is the branch of zoology that deals with the study of amphibians and reptiles. So when we say that 51 species of herpetofauna were discovered, we simply mean that some species of amphibians and reptiles were discovered from this area. And if we talk about the specific numbers, the list includes 18 amphibians, 21 lizards, 10 snakes and 2 turtles. Now we need not remember the species name for all these species because it is not relevant for our examination. However, three species are particularly important because these three species have been identified in Andhra Pradesh for the first time. And these species are Minervaria kalinga, Sferotheca masque, and Hemidectylus tangerensis. These three species have been identified in Andhra Pradesh for the first time. That is why these three species become important for our examination. So please glance through these names so that if you see them in the statement and prelims examination, you can simply recall them. And even out of these three, this one in particular is extremely important because of its IUCN status, which is endangered. Because all the other species that have been identified, they mostly belong to the least concerned or vulnerable category. This particular species, the Hemidectylus cangerensis, belongs to the endangered category of IUCN. So that is why this becomes extremely important. Now, because these species have been identified in Papikonda National Park, this national park also becomes relevant for the examination. So, let's understand the geography of this national park. And before we do that, let's quickly revise what national parks are. So, national parks are a form of in-situ conservation, meaning that the wildlife is conserved within its natural habitat. In contrast to ex situ conservation where the wildlife is taken out of the natural habitat and conserved elsewhere. So what are the examples of in situ conservation? You will have national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and in ex situ conservation what will you have? Botanical gardens, zoological parks, seed banks etc. So in in situ, we are conserving the wildlife, we are conserving the flora and fauna in the natural habitat. Ex situ, we are taking them out and conserving them elsewhere. And who is notifying an area to be a national park? It is the state government. So the state governments are empowered under the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 to designate an area as a national park if they feel that it consists of wildlife that requires utmost protection. That is why this Papikonda National Park was also upgraded to the category of a national park. It was not always a national park. It was a wildlife sanctuary. It was upgraded to the category of a national park in 2008. Because when an area is designated as a national park, utmost protection is provided to that area. Meaning all forms of human activity, like most of the human activities, they are not permitted in that area any longer. So what is permitted versus what is not permitted? What is permitted? Research. All this with special permission. Research is permitted. Very limited tourism like the guided safaris that we take, that is permitted. Government management activities, government activities like fire control activities or habitat restoration, these are the activities that are permitted and all these require special permissions. Versus what is not permitted? Hunting. Hunting and poaching for obvious reasons because we are wanting to protect these species, it is not permitted. Grazing is not permitted. Agriculture is not permitted. And commercial collection of forest produce or commercial activities, they are also not permitted. So in national parks, we want to provide maximum degree of protection to the wildlife 
so that these wildlife they can exist peacefully in their natural habitats without intervention from human activities so now let us talk about the papikonda national park so it is situated in andhra pradesh the districts are east and west godavari district an important river flows through this national park which is the godavari river and it is also surrounded by eastern ghats which means that it is also going to have mountain peaks so you can remember the highest mountain peak here which is devara konda so geographically also this is important because an important river flows through it godavari flows through it eastern ghat is surrounded by it so national park the papikonda national park is important uh, is an important national park in andhra pradesh and if we talk about the evolution of this national park so i already told you that this was upgraded to the category of a national park in 2008 other than this this is also an important bird and biodiversity area and who designates this the bird life international so the bird life international has also designated this national park as an important bird and biodiversity area so this is the significance of this national park this is the amount of richness of the species that this uh, national park contains in itself in fact a very unique dwarf variety of goat which is the kanchu mekha is found here kanchu mekha is a unique dwarf variety of goat which is present here if we talk about the vegetation it is mostly deciduous tropical deciduous you will have teak wood rosewood mahogany etc in the vegetation part and flora and fauna is very extensive 51 species have recently been discovered a unique goat variety called kanchu mekha was also present here so these are some basics about this national park so that was all for today's video where we talked about national parks in general and the uh, geography and evolution of papikonda national park also and also as a bonus let us look at the other national parks also present in andhra pradesh so this is not the only national park that's present in andhra pradesh there are two more so in a total there are three national parks in andhra pradesh first is papikonda national park then we have the shri venkateshwar national park and rajiv gandhi national park also known as the rameshwaram national park so you must remember all these names also these are important for the examination so andhra pradesh has a total of three national parks papikonda national park shri venkateshwara national park and rameshwaram national park so that was all for today's video thank you for watching now let us practice a question for prelims consider the following statements about papikonda national park one it is located in the east and west godavari districts of andhra pradesh two it lies along the banks of godavari river three it hosts a rich variety of herpeto fauna select the correct statement one and three only two and three only two only or all of the above please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet with a new video for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications